Section 4.3, we go over how to write the equations of lines that are parallel and perpendicular to other lines that we already know. So some facts that we need to know is parallel lines have the same slope. So the two slopes are equal to each other. And for perpendicular lines, two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is negative one. Or another way to say this is that if I have a line and I know what its slope is, if I divide both sides by the slope of the other line, I get the opposite reciprocal. Okay? So, for example, if my original line has a slope of four-fifths, the slope of the parallel line I'm going to use this symbol for parallel, is going to be the same. And the slope of the perpendicular line, use the perpendicular symbol, is going to be the opposite, and then flip it over. Okay. Let's say I start out with, uh, just to say, a slope of negative 2. The original slope is negative 2. The parallel line will have a slope of negative 2. The perpendicular line will have the opposite, which means the negative becomes a positive, and flip the 2 over, and I get 1 half. So that's how you get the slopes of the lines. Then they're also going to give you some point that the line goes through. And from one of our previous lessons, we are going to be using the point-slope form. To write our initial equation, and sometimes they're going to have us put it into slope intercept form. The point slope form is y, where I have some slope and some point as the coordinates x1, comma y1. So that's y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. This is the one where I told you just to fill in the blanks. And then if we need to put it into slope-intercept form, we always did two steps. Step one was to distribute the right-hand side. Then step two was move the number that was next to the y. We're going to move it to the right. So that's it for notes. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the IXL. So um, the IXL that you have for this one is just one of them. Write an equation for parallel and perpendicular lines. So let me open it up. Okay. Because the equation for line R can be written, and they gave it to you, line S is perpendicular and goes through the point. Here's the key point. They want it in slope-intercept form. Um, simplified fractions, improper fractions, or integers. That means no decimals at all on this. I'm going to pull in my piece of paper here. And for problem number one, my original slope is from the equation one half i am writing it for a perpendicular line so my slope of my perpendicular line is negative two okay 
I am now going to put my template in y minus blank equals blank x minus blank. I'm going to fill in the points. It gave me two negative seven. I'm going to put a negative seven over here. I'm going to put a two over here. I'm going to put a negative two here. They said they want it in slope intercept form, so I have two steps. First one's going to be distribution. This negative of a negative becomes a positive. Negative two times x is negative two x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. I'm then going to move the number, and that's going to give me y equals negative 2x. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So I need to grab my keyboard. Try to. Um, now, they did not give you the y, so you're going to have to type the y. So we're going to do y equals negative 2x minus 3. The next one, I'm going to move that up so I can keep my keyboard out. Um, my original slope is negative one-fifth. I am making a perpendicular line. So the slope of the perpendicular, you change the sign, so it's going to be positive. Then I'm going to flip the one-fifth over, and it's going to become a five. The point I'm going through is 1, negative 5. And I'm going to do the slope, uh, point slope form. So I'm going to do y. The opposite of negative 5 would be plus 5 equals the slope times x. And the opposite of 1 is negative 1. I need to distribute. That gives me y plus 5 equals 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Then I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And I get y equals 5x minus 10. y equals 5x minus 10. Um, so that's the first level of questions. I'm going to go up to the next level, which is level two. It says the equation for line C can be written as y minus 4 equals negative 9 fifths x plus 3. D is perpendicular to C and passes through a point. I'm going to want this in slope-intercept form. Notice this is in point-slope form. My slope is negative 9 fifths. Let me bring this new piece of paper down. The slope of my original line is negative 9 fifths. I'm going to be making a perpendicular line. So I am going to flip it over and change the sign. So it's going to be a positive 5 ninths. And it passes through negative 9, negative 3. So I'm going to do my point slope form first. Y, the opposite of negative 3 would be plus 3, equals 5 ninths. X, the opposite of negative 9 would be plus 9. So I need to put it into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to distribute. So I get y plus 3. 5 ninths times x is just 5 ninths x. 5 ninths times 9 is 5. If you need to use the calculator to do that, please make sure you do it using fraction mode so that if you end up with a fraction, it gives you the fraction. And now I need to subtract 3 from both sides. That's going to give me y equals 5 ninths x. And 5 minus 3 is positive 2. So I'm going to type that y equals 5 ninths. Okay, it did not like me just typing it in, so i got to use the thing there. 
5 over 9, x, and plus 2. Good. This one's got a parallel line. We haven't done a parallel line yet. Because my original equation is 4 thirds x plus 9, and I'm doing a parallel. If my original slope is 4 thirds, my parallel slope is also 4 thirds. I'm going through the point negative 4, negative 4. It wants this in, oops, accidentally hit enter. Wants it in slope intercept form again. So I'm going to put it in point slope form first. The so y and the opposite of negative 4 is plus 4 equals 4 thirds x. The opposite of negative 4 is plus 4. I am going to distribute. That gives me y plus 4 equals 4 thirds x. And 4 thirds times 4 is 16 thirds. Okay, you do not want to give a mixed number for that last part because it's not part of the part that's in our answers. And now I need to subtract 4. So I need to subtract 4, which is going to be minusing 12 thirds. So I ended up with y equals 4 thirds x, 16 thirds minus 12 thirds is 4 thirds. Now, in your calculator, you could have done 16 over 3 minus 4, and it would have given you 4 thirds as long as you put the 16 thirds in that calculator as a fraction to begin with. Okay? So again, even if you're not comfortable with the fractions, you can still do this work. I've got y equals 4. Oops, I've got to use the fraction thingy. 4 thirds x plus another fraction, 4 thirds. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the level 3 question. That'll show you all the different types that we can have here. Because the equation of line U is that, where V includes the point and is parallel. I want the equation for V. So my slope of U is 2. Okay? My doing parallel, so my slope of my parallel line is also going to be 2. And I'm going through the point 7 comma 9. So I'm going to write my initial equation in point slope form. Move the keyboard out of the way. So y minus 9 equals 2 times x minus 7. y, the opposite of 9, equals 2, and then x in the opposite of 7. I'm going to distribute y minus 9 equals 2x minus 14, add 9 to both sides, and I get y equals 2x, 14, negative 14 plus 9, or 9 minus 14 is negative 5. And that's what I'm going to type in, is y equals 2x minus 5. So those are the examples that I'm going to do for you um, to get back to the original page. Biggest things I want to point out is if you have not already completed the lesson for point slope form, you need to go back and do that so you can get comfortable of doing the point slope form problems. I'm going to go back and figure out which one that is. Point slope form. Um, was lesson 
So that's why I have you doing those things. I had you do that previously. Um, so make sure you can do the point slope form. And all you need to do is, um, I'm going to write the two equations. So I already have this equation. The slope is right here. And then if you have it, y equals mx plus b, there's your original slope. If they give you a slope, it's written. You just read the slope off the equations. So as long as you can write equations from point slope form and convert them into slope intercept form, it should be um, fairly straightforward for you to complete this.